All right, today we're going to do a mathematical proof. So this is when we prove that a mathematical rule is true. We have learnt four things that we can prove here today just using a piece of baking paper. So we need to use a ruler at all times because we know these rules only work with straight lines. So what you're going to do for vertically opposite is you're going to draw some lines that cross over each other and we're going to draw them at different angles. Two or three is perfect. Now we take the baking paper, <coughs> put it over it and then trace the angle here in a different color could be good. Now we've got the size of this angle. If I now turn it around, these two should be the same size. So if I turn it around, there we go. The angle is the exact same size. So these two are exactly the same size. So if you want to pause the video now, get your baking paper, draw some lines with a ruler, and prove that each of them have the same size on each vertically opposite angle. If we all do that, then we'll have almost a hundred proofs that it always works. All right, pause the video now. All right, corresponding. This, I've put some parallel lines on here for you already. Now you just have to draw the transversal. Again, if you draw the transversal at different angles, some could be really straight, some could be really angled. Then again, you're going to take your baking, baking paper. Corresponding is my F rule. So I'm going to do this and this. These two should be the same size. Put this here. Measure and trace my angle. That's the size of the angle. If I now move this down here, I can see it's exactly the same size. So these two angles are the same. All right. You're going to go ahead, pause the video and do it. These two should be the same. If we all do four, we have over a hundred proofs that corresponding angles are always equal to each other. All right, alternate. Again, you're going to draw some transversals. Then take our baking paper, transversal, um, alternates are on either side, creating a Z. So I'm going to trace this angle. There's my angle. And now I'm going to flip it round to be here. There we go. Exactly the same size. So that one works. All right, pause the video. You get four done. Over 100 proofs that alternates are always equal to each other. All right, last one's co-interior. It's a bit different. Because co-interior angles are not equal to each other, we know that they add up to 180. So we do the proof a little bit differently. We draw some transversals. All right. These two angles should add up to 180 degrees. That's what our rule says. This is how we do it. We draw a straight line on our baking paper, the ruler. And we put that on one of these parallel lines. Then we draw up. All right, there's the angle. Now, this plus this should equal 180. So what I do is my short little arm, I put on the transversal now. Okay? And then I draw out the other side here. And as I can see, I've created a 180 degrees. So this one's correct. Let's try another one here. Let's try this one here. Okay, draw a straight line on my baking paper. Put that on the parallel line. Draw up the transversal. Got the angle. Turn it around so that my small line is on the transversal again and then extend out on the parallel line. There we go, 180. They add to 180. 
All right, you do it, and then we've proved that all four of these rules are true.